Today, we're going to talk about the five best exercises for recovering your knee. Now, I've done other videos on knee pain, but I haven't done any videos on how to strengthen the knee, especially after an injury or in the process of recovering. These five exercises not only strengthen the muscles of the knee, but provide symmetry between the left and right knee, and also the muscles on the front of the knee versus the muscles on the back of the knee, which is very, very important. Because normally, a person will injure uh, either one knee or an ankle, and that sets up a pattern of putting the pressure on the opposite knee. And over time, that can really create some asymmetrical stress. So let's say 20 years ago, you hurt your right ankle, and now the left knee is hurting simply because of the years of compensation that occurred. So I am gonna show you a very powerful balancing technique um, for pain and just balancing the muscles after this video. But let's just talk about these five exercises. Now, just to learn the anatomy real quick, you have this, the longest bone in the body, which is also the strongest. It's called the femur. And that's the top part of the leg, which is covered by the front muscles, the thigh muscles called the quadriceps. And then the muscles in the back part are called the hamstrings, okay? Now the knee joint is really the largest hinge joint in the body, okay? So you have flexion and extension with some slight minor rotation. But this top femur bone is connected with a bottom tibia bone, which is the second longest bone in the body. And so this is where a lot of weight has to be supported on this joint right here. And then on the side of the tibia, on the outside of the leg, okay, we're looking at the viewpoint of someone's right knee, okay, going from the front. On the outer part of this tibia, this lower bone here, you have another bone called the fibula. The purpose of the fibula is to really stabilize that ankle, to allow you to perform all the amazing movements and running and different uh, motions that you can actually perform. And then we have this thing called the patella. That's your kneecap. That's right in front. And that glides right over the tendon that's connected to the quadricep femoris. It's just going to glide over that tendon right there. And then you have four ligaments. Ligaments go from bone to bone, okay? A tendon goes from a muscle to a bone. And the purpose of those ligaments are just to prevent uh, motion going from to the lateral outside or the inside or the front or the back or twisting. So it keeps everything really, really nice and tight. You also have this very hard piece of uh, cartilage that is connected to the bone on the top and the bottom. That is called articular cartilage. And then right in between, you have this little shock absorber called the meniscus. So that's your anatomy lesson of the knee joint. So let's dive right into the four exercises. The first exercise we're gonna talk about is the quad stretch. So the quad stretch improves uh, the hip flexor, which is up in the hip as well as the quadricep itself. And we're gonna be balancing out the flexibility of your left quadricep to your right quadricep. So basically you're gonna be standing up, supporting yourself uh, with a wall, okay? So you'll be holding on the wall with one hand and with the other hand, you'll grab your foot or ankle as you're pulling it up into your hamstring. And you're gonna be stretching the quadricep. Make mental note of the flexibility of the right side versus the left side, because usually you're gonna find one that is way tighter than the other one, and that's the one you wanna work on more. And so then you're just gonna stretch and hold for 30 seconds, okay, each side, and you're just gonna do that twice. Okay, so that's the quad stretch. The next stretch is gonna be the heel to calf stretch. For this one, you're gonna have your hands on the wall, and you're gonna move back so your toes are facing forward. Make sure the heels are flat with your knee slightly bent. Then you're going to lean into the stretch and hold for 30 seconds. And then when you're done with that, you'll do the opposite leg. And so you're going to do this exercise back and forth just two times. So this exercise is going to stretch the back part of your leg as compared to the quad stretch, which stretches the front part of the leg. All right, the next stretch is called the half squat. And this is more of a strengthening exercise where you're going to stretch the quadricep, the gluteus muscle, which is your butt muscle, as well as your hamstrings. So you're gonna get in a standing position, and then you're gonna slightly squat downward. And make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. You're just gonna squat down about 10 inches at a halfway point, so you're not all the way down to a 45 degree angle. And at this point, you're just gonna pause for a few seconds, 
and then stand up so you're completely erect. So basically this is a half squat or a partial squat and you're basically going to do this 10 reps and you'll do two to three sets of these 10 repetitions. We want to keep it easy. We don't want to create too much stress, but we do want to start building up the quadricep, the buttocks muscle, as well as your hamstring. All right, number four, let's talk about the hamstring curl. Now with this exercise, you'll be standing facing a wall. For support, your feet will be hip width apart. You're going to lift one foot up, bend the knee, and raise your heel towards the ceiling. Go as far as you can while keeping your upper body still with your hips facing forward. Hold for five to 10 seconds. You'll do 10 repetitions two to three times. All right, now that you did the hamstring curl, let's move to number five, and that's called the straight leg raisers. Now it's important to know that your quadricep and your hip flexors um, help raise the leg. And so this exercise will help strengthen both of those flexors. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna flex your foot upward so you feel your shin muscles contracting. And as you do this exercise and get better, you wanna add some weight to your ankle. So you can start off with adding a five pound weight and then eventually going up to maybe a seven or eight pound weight and then even a 10 pound weight. But for now, we're gonna do it without weights. I would highly suggest using some type of a mat while you're laying down, or you can do this on the carpet. So you're gonna be laying down on the floor with one leg bent and the other leg straight out in front of you. And so now you're gonna contract the quadricep on the leg that is extended straight and slowly raise it off the floor until it's at the same height as the bent knee. Then you're gonna pause for about five seconds and then lower the position down to the mat and repeat for 10 repetitions. Do this two to three times. All right, those are the five exercises that are going to put symmetry and strength and flexibility into your legs which surround your knees. Now the next important video to watch is how to get rid of knee pain. Okay, you're going to like this video. Check it out.